I was sick that day, so I skipped school. I just stayed in bed and watched TV all day. And I stumbled on something that changed my life. I stumbled upon the documentary movie about September 11, 2001. It was a devastating event. As the two planes crashed into the Twin Towers, I sat there on my bed, feeling stricken and so sad. I just couldn't believe how someone did something so cruel. And the truth that weren't only two planes hijacked that day, but four planes. And something ignited in me. Let me tell you the story of how I found my passion. At that time, I couldn't help but wonder, what kind of planes were hijacked? And I googled it. I know I wasn't supposed to do that. The content of the documentary was way above my age limit. I am so sorry, mom, but I couldn't help it. So I googled it. I was always interested in something mechanical, so I wanted to know how someone hijacked a plane and directed it. And from this moment on, my love for the aviation world formed. That day, amidst the fair that I had, I found out the types of planes that were hijacked. The model, the year. It was 1767-200ER, 1767-200, and 2757-200s. All right. Let me tell a little bit about the two play models. Let's start with the SAM 6700ER. A SAM 6700ER is a plane built to cover medium to long ranges. Different from the standard SAM 6700, this one can cover long ranges. Also, I want to tell you a fact. The SAM 6700ER was known as American Airlines Flight 11, while the standard SAM 6700 was United Airlines Flight 175. Now, let's talk about the 757-200. The 757-200 is similar to the 767-200, but it's shorter. It only measures around 47 meters, while the 767 measures at around 48 meters. The 757 also serves as a medium to long range airliner, same as the 767. Both both 757s are actually different. American Airlines Flight 77 being a 757-223, while the other 757-200 was United Airlines 93. Yes, it's my dream to become a pilot. Sadly, I've done research, and I found to my horror that there is no new technology that can make planes safer from hijackers after 9-11. It's true that after 9-11, the Aviation and Transportation Security Act created the TSA, which stands for Transportation Security Administration, to regulate the safety of planes. TSA requires 100% of all checked baggage to be screened by x-ray and required the expansion of Federal Air Marshal armed and to be placed on more flights. It also reinforced cockpit doors too. But so far, there's no actual technological measure to practically make planes safer from hijackers. But not to worry, Captain Aben is here. I may have some ideas on how to make flights safer from terrorist attacks. First, I think reinforced cockpit doors are a good idea. Let's add bulletproof features and remote locking mechanisms controlled from the ground or by pilots to secure the cockpit door. This way, Hijackers can't get into the cockpit. Pilots can safely land their planes at the nearest airports, and after, and after landing, the ground security personnel can send a SWAT team to negotiate a hostage. Second, I'll have flight attendants equipped with emergency communication devices. It's a discreet communication device to alert the cockpit and ground security personnel in case of an emergency. Of course, there are also preventive measures that can be taken. One idea is to implement AI-driven behavioral analysis software to monitor and analyze passengers' behavior in real time, identifying suspicious actions that may indicate a security threat. This AI will use machine learning algorithms to, to detect unusual patterns or anomalies in passenger behavior and travel history. One day, I'll make this happen. Yet, I couldn't help but wonder. What if that day, when I was sick, my mom wouldn't let me watch TV, or my parents wouldn't allow me to find out more about it? I don't think I'll stand here today and tell you my story. The story of tragedy changed people. It can change them into something bad, but for me, 
I found the power to transform it into something positive. By following my dreams, I honor the past, the people who were affected by the tragedy. Let us remember that our passions have the ability to ignite positive change, to foster innovation, and to bring light into the darkest of times. So, let us embrace our passions, chase our dreams, and in doing so, let us honor the past while building a future filled with hope, possibility, and endless potential. I am Captain Abin, your pilot today, over and out.